This is Ron Rushworth from Ron's Workshop. A simple project today is uh, a pair of tongs we're using to take your toast out of the toaster. Saves you putting a fork down, saves you getting your fingers burnt. And this just goes down into the toaster and picks up anything quite well. I'm using a piece of bamboo because bamboo is, is very, very flexible. You can bend it all over the place. It's very strong and it's very light. And it's a simple project because all I'm going to be doing is just sanding the two edges and clamping them together. And uh, this is a piece of bamboo about, about eight inches long. And I'm going to be cutting a couple of slices off this and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, I'm just gonna sand this piece off and then I'm going to uh, slice a couple of pieces off on the bandsaw. For safety reasons, I always use a little push stick, and uh, this works very, very well to push the wood through. And I also use this thing on the other side, it's just a piece of flat wood, and I'm going to be pressing that up against the wood for safety reasons. So I have a piece of bamboo here, and I'm just going to slice it down. Cut another one. Okay, I've cut two pieces of bamboo and they have a fair taper on them so that when they're put together, they will look very similar to the other one. Now these have to be clamped with glue and there's a lot of pressure on them so they'll have to be glued and clamped probably 24 hours to make sure that they're solid. And that's what I'll do right now. That'll be it. A little bit of a touch up tomorrow when the glue dries. After 24 hours, this is what it should look like. This is approximately the same size. And uh, it'll clamp and it'll take the toast out of the toaster 
and maybe do spaghetti or many other clamping things that uh, will work. So that concludes the show for today. Thank you very much for watching. This is Ron Rushworth. Hello, this is Ron from Ron's Workshop. Today I'd like to show you how to make a, a little crayon holder in the shape of a truck. And uh, we put wheels on it and use the force in a bit, quite a bit, for the depth of the crayons. And uh, I'll start it right now. Okay, to make this uh, crayon holder, it's just a piece of wood about six inches long and maybe an inch and a half wide. I've just stuck two pieces of wood together to make it look a little fancier, that's all. And now I, I have a little template with 12 holes in it. And I'm just going to kind of mark these holes with a pencil and then I'll countersink, punch them. These holes are all evenly spaced. Take about three quarters of the width of the truck, the length of the truck. You also need space for the wheels, and they'll go on the side. Just find the depth of the wheel. Okay, okay because I use Forstner bits, this is the one with a flat end on, I made a little shelf to hold all these bits and they're all different sizes in here and for me it works very well. I'll be using a 3 8 bit and uh, this 3 8 bit is this one and it's slightly larger than the thickness of a crayon and uh, so this works very very well and this is what I'll be using today I want to uh, measure how deep I'll be going so that I can set a depth. Down about an, an inch or an inch and a half for the depth. Not important, but just. Okay, here we go. Now I'll just slide it along.
Okay, then that's the holes drilled. Now I want to uh, take the little edge off these holes. And this is a, uh, we'll call this a de-edger. It takes, it's just a pointed drill. And you just stick it in here and it'll take the edges off this. This is just taking the edges off here. It makes it a little bit easier for the crayons to clean. So I'll do these. That's all the holes done, and now I have to drill the holes for the wheels. I'll be putting a, a bigger drill in it. This is bigger than a quarter, because I'll be using a quarter inch dowel. I can put this de-edger thing on again. Okay, as you can see, I've drilled the holes, and this is a crayon, and they fit in here just, just beautifully. They're, they're perfect. 
and uh, I've drilled the other holes on the side for the wheels and you have to drill it bigger than the double so you can see that they're they're pretty good so they're both fine they're just ready for a little bit of sanding now and uh, around the edges Okay, I'm just ready to uh, do a little bit of routering here. That's fine. Okay, I've drilled all the holes and uh, I'm ready to measure for the wheels. And the simple way I do it is just this way. Add a little bit of difference to it and cut a couple of dowels to fit. Okay, I've drilled the holes bigger than the dowels because the dowels will swell a little bit. And I've cut them to length and I'm just going to uh, put some glue on them right now. You don't need a lot of glue. Okay, we got the, the truck finished with the wheels on and everything. The only thing left is the cab, and I've shaped this a little bit, and I've added three pieces of wood just for contrast. And the only thing left now to do is just put some glue on it, and that will be finished. And I'll do that right now. Glue will probably dry in two or three minutes without clamping or anything. I'm just pressing down a little bit on the, the glue till it dries. And uh, it's pr pretty well finished now except for a bit of staining. Okay, I'm gonna be putting polyurethane on today for, for the first coat. I have to thin it with Barsol. How about some? Give it a good stir. And use a damp cloth to take the dust off. A bit of the dust. It's 
see how the contrast stands out better than just plain. So I've just wiped this off and there will be four coats to go on this and we sand it in between each coat. So that completes the project. Well, thank you very much for sharing your time with me today. It's Ron Rushworth. Mm -hmm.